In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to retouch this sign over here. And this is the request I got before, because as you can see, because of the reflection that we have, this sign got divided. So it should be like one, but right now we have multiplied and we need to correct this. So it need to be est louder nudes, of course. And now we have two signs est louder nudes. So I'm going to show you my technique for this that will help you to save a lot of time. First of all, I'm creating a new layer. I'm going to title this sign. It could be something more creative, probably. And now I'm going to switch to the clone stamp. And with help of the clone stamp, I'm going to clone all of this sign, just like this. Of course, important to preserve the same light over here. So I'm trying to do this from both sides, as you can see this way. And I need to make sure that I'm doing this accordingly to the shape here. So this is actually easy part. And this technique can save you a lot of time whenever you're uh, gonna have similar issue to deal with. Now from this side a little bit, because here uh, we have different light, but the lights are not such huge issues. There are differences on the both sides, but we can blend this easily. So I'm going from this side. Let's have a look. I will continue from this side because uh, I think the color is more natural. And now let's blend this in. So let's blend these two colors. So it looks okay. I think it also looks straight, although I see maybe some small mistake I've done here, but this is, uh, this is not a big issue. Can try to correct this. So as it's blended, we covered all of the side. So what now? I'm going to create a mask on this new layer. So let's create a mask. And let's see what to do. First, I'm going to invert this. So I'm inverting this to the color black. So I made everything visible because this way it will be easier. So we can do it starting with white mask and try to bring back this sign or start with the black mask and we see the sign and then cover the extension of this sign. Because of course, when we work with the mask, then the white mask means everything on the layer, whatever we were painting on this, whether it's uh, adjustment layer will be visible. If the mask is black, everything on this layer will be not visible. So now I can bring back the effect existing on this layer by painting on this mask with the white color. So I'm choosing the brush. I'm pressing D to switch the color to white. And on which side I'm going to cover this? So I see the sign is going up. So what I'm going to do, I will cut this out from here, painting with the white color. Something like this here. And as you can see, we making the sign as it's supposed to be. So now S, of course, we need to be careful. And luckily, the fact that we did this accordingly, we don't have to be worried about surrounding color. Of course, sometimes I might go too far. So no need to do actually step back. We can paint over with the other color if we do mistake. So another part, so it's not only uh, up, but it's also making the letters slightly bigger. So we need to correct these parts. 
So here, well, that this one is difficult. I can see here and where it goes. So this one e is here. This one to be gone. And this one to be gone. And here to be gone. And again, to be gone, this part here, I got a little too far, so I can switch with X and paint over. And something like this. It wasn't straight. All of these other colors we can correct as well. So let's have a look before and after and if we would not use this technique we would have to clone stamp slowly step by step so uh, this is much faster technique sometimes uh, we just have to think in the creative way how we can solve the certain issue so another one here is a Before, at first I was uh, trying to do it by cloning and I was struggling a lot. So it's important to sometimes instead of uh, starting to work straight away, think how you can do it, how you can do it better. Next is D. And another E. And slim this a little bit here. R. So you, you get the point right now. I'm sure you know how to do it. But I will continue this to the very end. So we can finish this part uh, together. Sometimes I like to keep the lessons maybe a little uh, longer, even though um, I showed you how to do things, uh, we can continue together and finish it together so you can see the final result as we achieve, as we achieve the final result. We are about to finish. Last three letters. Again, we have D. Seems I'm getting a little bit faster at the end. It's not great because uh, it's easy to do mistake when we go too fast, when we are uh, losing the uh, focus. So I don't want to lose it. Probably with the E, I could do with the smaller size of the brush. And we have S. As at the very end, this S was looking a little bit strange, but that would be it. As you can see, um, I'm really proud of us because we could make it horrible for ourselves, but by using um, some thought, we made it much better. Of course, after we finish, we can just uh, make sure that everything is clear. Sometimes we can also create another layer on the top and try to do a little bit more, maybe paint over it with the darker color to make the sign more visible. So for example, as you can, U is uh, fading a little bit here. So what we can do on this new layer, I could name this as the sign improvement. And on this U, as I said, we can try to paint over it to make it a little bit darker. So something like this. Of course, um, keeping in mind that all of this have to look natural. So we cannot extend the letter or make it bigger, but just do it to make the sign slightly more visible. So this is how I do this sort of things. This is how I deal with this specific example where I had to retouch the sign on this product.